Dump thousands of apples into a giant press. Apply several tons of pressure. And what do you get? Apple juice, of course. And good thing it's made on such an enormous scale when you consider how many people drink gallons of this popular juice every year. Here at Rougemont, they make apple juice mainly from Macintosh apples. Some 90% of juice production is done at harvest time in October. A conveyor transports apples to an inspection location. Apples tumble in the reverse direction of the conveyor belt, so that wet leaves and undesirable materials adhere to the belt. The apples are stored in silos for several hours. So the apples don't get too bruised in their descent, they're slowed down in this step shoot. Juice making can now begin. Now they wash the apples. Since they use some apples that have already fallen to the ground, this first water bath must eliminate pebbles. A shower of cool water completes the washing process. The apples are cut into little pieces in this grinder and produce gratings. Enzymes are added which break down the cellular structure of the fruit, allowing for maximum juice extraction. Next, the gratings are transferred into maceration reservoirs, where they'll stay for 60 to 90 minutes. Then they extract the juice. The gratings are pumped into a powerful hydraulic press. Inside the press, filter sleeves hold back the skins, seeds, and stems of the apples. Quality control is strict. At each stage of the process, they draw off samples of juice to evaluate its quality and to make sure that fabrication parameters are well adhered to. The juice is filtered a first time. The very smallest undesirable particles are held back by this sieve. The fabrication process continues. Juice flows from one stage to another via these immense reservoirs. The next step will be pasteurization. Juice enters this exchanger at 72 degrees and is heated up to 190 degrees, then cooled back down to 122 degrees. Enzymes are added to hydrate the pectin and facilitate the second filtration. This is the ultrafiltration process, where filter membranes with microscopic pores retain the smallest of particles. The apple juice is now perfectly filtered. Its clarity is verified, as well as its flavor, color, and natural fruit sugar content. Since juice is produced in October, it has to be conserved throughout the year. A portion of the production is stored in this sterile warehouse area to await being bottled during the year. Each reservoir can hold 29,000 gallons of filtered juice. No preserving agent is added. Now we move to the next stage, the filling of containers. These little drinking containers are filled at the rate of 100 a minute. The containers are then hermetically sealed. Two little sprays of hot glue are applied to the containers. This secures the straws to their sides. Another automated production line fills bottles with juice. They circulate in a row on this conveyor. Bottles are washed and disinfected with hydrogen peroxide in this white sterile room. Then they're rinsed with sterile water before being carried to the filling location. Each minute, 120 bottles are filled with pasteurized apple juice and sealed with a cap in a sterile environment. Bottles are then labeled and sent to shipping. Between 20 and 40,000 tons of apples are transformed into juice yearly. Thanks to its perfect preservation, consumers can enjoy this juice at any time of the year.